Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you how you can make Vindicators and Evokers respawn in Woodland Mansions. Who doesn't know this feeling? You traveled for 30,000 blocks to find one of those rare structures and then you have to notice that somebody else on the server has been there already and killed all the mobs. In my case, in this structure, I don't have anything anymore but one guy sitting in here which is unfortunately claimed by Jeffy Jeff, so I should rather not touch that. <laughs> and uh, I would have now to travel for another 30,000 blocks or even more to find me another one of these woodland mansions. So I thought that this is not quite a nice game mechanic, especially for servers, and it would be much better if those would respawn. So I created a data pack, which I want to show you today, uh, that is making the evoca evokers and um, the vindicators respawn in Woodland Mansions. I don't want this to be overpowered. I want to be this to be a balance and I want this to be a nice experience. So if you go inside, there should be the complete Woodland Mansion uh, kind of repopulated with those two mobs and not just spawning them like in a witch hut where the witches spawn every now and then. So this is set up in a way where each player that hasn't been in a mansion yet would recreate the mobs inside the mansion and so can get the whole mansion experience just with this one structure. Also, if a player wants to do this again after some time, then he can do it because there's a cooldown timer for each player after which he would repopulate a mansion as well. So by default, this is set to one hour. So after one hour of gameplay, I could go here again and just redo it, but you can change that time. I will show in the end of the video how this time can be changed. Also, if you go in as a group, then there's no problem because it would just recreate the mansion one time for the group and then uh, you can fight the mobs together. So there's not twice the amount of mobs inside just because you're going in with uh, twice the amount the, of the people. So I will now activate the system and uh, then go in and show you what changed inside the mansion. The system is now activated and uh, to show you there's still one inside I will let him execute say hi so he should be saying hi now yep there he is he's still in his minecart but if I now go to the mansion here uh, we should be able to see that uh, we have more than just one vindicator and also the evokers should be back so let's see there we go there's quite a lot of uh, vindicators and also the evokers are now back in the mansion. And this guy is still in his minecart and uh, there's no spawned in his position so it's still the same amount as it was uh, when this mansion generated for the first time. So how does this work? I mentioned already it's a data pack and just like with my uh, Schalke respawning mechanism I'm spawning in armor stands at the position where those guys would naturally spawn. So here you can see this is the place uh, Jeffy's uh, Vindicator spawned and for example, I think this is the one that spawns the evoker. So throughout the mansion, we've got those armor stands and um, whenever a player that is able to repopulate the mansion, so his time has ticked up far enough, then uh, it would just simply uh, check if uh, the uh, vindicator or evokers that it spawned originally are still there. And if they're not, it will just uh, spawn them in. So each time you go into this mansion and repopulate it, you will have the full experience with all the mobs inside. You won't just have a few, you will have all of them. And so you can kind of consider this as a dungeon uh, that is uh, redoing itself for each player that is going in which I think is a quite good mechanic and if I would now take mobs out of here so I bring those evokers and vindicators to my base I take them out of the structure and so they don't count towards the structure anymore either and I can just uh, yeah, go here and uh, do it again after the set time. So uh, now let me quickly show you how you can set this up uh, for your own server. You just have to go to the safe of the world, which is most likely your server, and then place inside the safe games, you can see it took quite a few attempts to record this, uh, into the data packs, uh, the file that you can find in the video description. 
once you place that in there, you just have to go to the game and do slash reload, like with all the data packs. And then it tells you that dimension repopulator is initialized and uh, you can basically explore the world, find a mansion, and uh, from then on, every mansion you find, it will repopulate with mobs. If there's already a mansion in your world and you're adding this, then it can't spawn in the armor stands because there are no mobs, uh, so evokers and vindicators anymore. And so with this mansion, it won't work. But with any new mansion, after you initialize this, uh, it will work. I mentioned that uh, you can change the cooldown time for the player to loot these fortresses. So you could set it to, let's say, a week or maybe even to uh, a year if you want to have this infinite. Um, so each player can only loot uh, the mansion once. Um, but I think it's quite a good way to set it to an hour, two or three. Um, so by default it's set to an hour. If you want to change that time, you just simply have to run one command, which is scoreboard players set and then four times the zero and timer. That's the placeholder or the variable for the time. Uh, repopulate mention and then a negative value in ticks. So for one hour, this would be uh, 72,000 ticks is one hour, but if we just want 30 minutes, for example, we could just say uh, 36,000. So the way you calculate it is 20 times, uh, 20 ticks per second, and uh, then just uh, times 60 to have minutes, and then times 30 to get 36,000, and we need to have this negative, uh, so it works. Um, and with that, uh, you can set it up for your server, so you repopulate dimensions, um, every so often and can loot them more than just one time and with different people. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then of course, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.